Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to apply for a non-immigrant US visa. Before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, if you're looking to apply for a non-immigrant visa here or US visa, what we need to do is we need to visit the DS-160 form, which in this case, you can get it from the following website, which in this case is going to be ceac.state.gov slash gennif. Now, from here, you should be able to see or basically read a few things there. But what we need to do is we need to basically get started. So first is we want to go ahead and go to the selection or select a location section. Let's go and click on it and you want to select your country. So in this case, uh, this is where you'll be applying your visa for, which in this case is going to be your current country. So for example, I'm going to choose Philippines Manila here. And I want to go ahead and basically enter the code here. So in this case, let's go ahead and basically enter our code here. So T is H for Y. Now, also, if you want to test your photo that you have, because you need to upload a photo of yourself in order for you to complete the application. So if you want to test that first, go ahead and click on test photo here to test if your photo will be upset accepted because of eyeglasses are no longer accepted whenever you have your um, photo taken. So once you've provided all the details here, let's go ahead and click on start an application and it should redirect you to the confirmation application here. This case is going to give you some information here. If you want to uh, read them further, you could go ahead and click on the I agree and you could go ahead and scroll down a bit here and you want to answer the security question here for your account. So let's just say, uh, what is the given name of your mother's uh, mother's mother? So let's just enter that name here and click on continue. Now, what we need to do next is we need to fill out all the necessary information here. So that includes some basic information like your full name, your given name, your surname, and all your background information here. That includes your gender, Marital, um, marital status and date of place of birth. So basically, if you have like any documentation that you can refer to, like a birth certificate, any IDs they had before, and any travel uh, information, like for example, the countries that you went before, your a copy of your passport, make sure to have that ready. Because as, as you can see, there's going to be a lot of information that are required, uh, required from you. So first is the personal information section, which is what we see right now. But when you go to personal information too, that are further or more specific details about yourself. Also have the travel here. Well, what are you going to apply for? And also we have our travel companions if you have or if you're applying for another person as well. Now, if you've previously traveled from the US, you might also provide some details about it. The address and phone number that you have in the US, if you have any, or in this case, your address in your current country, your passport information, any US contact, like for example, if you know a friend or some family members in the US, you can provide their details here as well. Now, if you have like a family member, you could go ahead and provide them in here as well. And also provide your education, your work and training. So if you're currently employed and you just want to take a vacation, you go ahead and specify that as well here. And some security and background checks here. So for example, if they go, they are going to ask you if, like, if you have any uh, previous criminal records. So make sure to provide all those details. Now, the only tip that I could give you here is to basically make sure that all the information that you provide here are truthful and also matches the documentation that you have. So if just in case you've misspelled your name here or any information, this will directly impact your application because in this case, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be truthful with your application and it increases the chances of your application being denied. So again, make sure all the information you provide here are correct and actually matches your actual uh, documentation, like any IDs that you have. And yeah. So in this case, so finally, the last page that you'll be seeing here is the upload photo section, which in this case, you need to upload a photo of yourself that does not have any glasses on your eyes. But yeah, from here, just follow the on-screen steps and provide all the information and you should be good. And that's about it. If you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.